The plant that I will propagate today is called a goldfish plant and it has a positive leaves, meaning that at every node there's going to be two leaves coming out. For my experiment, I will be working with cuttings of different lengths based on the number of nodes on the cutting. In the end, I obtained a medium that would retain a lot of moisture and nutrients, but that would remain aerated and provide oxygen to my new cuttings. I filled a plastic tray with my potting mixture and gently tapped it on the counter to slightly compact it. For this experiment, I wanted to test the effect of the length of the cutting, of the section of the stem, and of IBA rooting hormone. For each treatment, I used 10 cuttings and I replicated each of my treatments two times. Using a dapper board, I made 10 rows in my potting mixture and I planned on planting 10 cuttings in each of the rows for a total of 100 cuttings. I made in advance 10 little holes in each of my rows to plant my cuttings. To decide on the order in which I would plant my treatments in my tray, I wrote numbers from 1 to 5 on pieces of paper and drowned them from a bowl. Toxins are very interesting with root development because at a really high concentration it actually inhibits the, the elongation of the primary root, but it stimulates lateral branching and adventitious roots and that's how you use it um, in terms of, of rooting powder. <laughs> Cuttings treated with IBA, treatment 5, have a greater rooted number and root score, followed by midsection cuttings, treatment 4, 
and by seven nodes terminal cuttings. Treatment three. Three nodes terminal cuttings. Treatment one had a lower survival than other treatments, and this was because they rotted due to their small size. There was a trend where cuttings in the first and last row, regardless of the treatment, had a greater root score. This could be due because the higher plant density in the middle of the tray reduced root length and density.